Hello, my beautiful sisters. It is the beginning of 2024, the Emerald Dragon year. And I am so excited to share with you that Healing the Womb is returning for our fourth iteration this year. Our theme is Womb Wealth Creation. And I couldn't be more aligned with the cosmic time because we have been in so much healing over the last few years. And the dragons are telling me that this 12 week journey it is a resurrection portal. It is time for us to fully reclaim all of our soul's creation power, all of the dragon creation power of our womb, all of the pleasure, joy, and excitement that is our life force, that is our birthright of being alive. And from that place, we will create together a life of prosperity, ease, freedom, and fulfillment for ourselves, our family, and all of life on earth. So for those of you that started with me and this journey with Kara, you know that these containers began when I became pregnant with her back in 2019. I had this telepathic relationship with this baby who began to discourse me these teachings of these womb healing and multidimensional womb alchemy telepathically and also through dream time. And that pregnancy, she transmitted this nine week course, which was the first ever Healing the Womb 2020. Now, then she stayed only for nine days and she went back to source. And then in 2022, she came back. And so she inspired me to run another Healing the Womb at that time. And it was another nine week container. And I'm really excited to share that I am once again pregnant. And many of you knew before I did, and you were messaging me about this little boy, well, this little boy has also been discoursing to me all of these incredible dragon teachings. Before I knew I was pregnant, we were guided to go to this little island in the Pacific Ocean called Moorea. And it's this little heart-shaped island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that held so much in his history and in its landmass and in its consciousness, these mysteries of original dragon creation. And while we were there, we swam with the whales and after the whales transmitted to me these new maps of the Aurora Stargate ley line systems of the Earth, I found out that I was pregnant. And of course, Moorea literally means golden dragon. And this little boy is going to be born in the year of the dragon. And so he has been helping me so much with the healing of my sense of self-worth and confidence and sense of routine and groundedness and being in my body. And all of these things have to do with our goddess relationship with the inner masculine and the inner king. And of course, this is the portal into us creating and generating and holding and amplifying wealth and financial abundance in our life. So this year's curriculum was co-designed with my son who is in my belly, who is transmitting me these codes of original dragon creation from the other side. And these children have also shared with me that the tiger and the dragon are actually highly significant in my lineage. In the ancient times, my family were called the Emerald Dragon Clan and the divine feminine had their own temple and this was the White Tigris Society. And the men had their own spaces, their own sacred space and they were called the Jade Dragon. And together they represented the highest avatar template expressions of divine feminine and masculine embodiment. And this is really the Taoist ancient aligned teachings of Hieroscamos as it was originally transmitted by Divine Mother to my ancestors. If you went and looked online now at some of these teachings, a lot of them are carrying just deep distortions as a result of the fall that we've all had. You know, so many of these teachings focus so much on physical pleasure or finding your perfect mate or just manifesting lots of money. And truly, the true heart of the dragon teachings lies in our divine union with creation, this honor, reverence, respect that we hold in our heart for all of life. And from that place, really seeking to create a life of service, creating a life where we are benefiting and generating and creating um, more beauty, more love, more healing for all of life that live on this planet. And so this is really a course where we are learning these original mechanics of creation and really learning to embody them in our physical body so that we can be full of health and vitality, 
so that you can wake up in the morning and feel your birthright of this pleasure of life force flowing and coursing through your body and allowing that to inspire you to birth these new creations that uplift the consciousness and the experience of all of humanity. This is a resurrection portal that births you, rebirths you into a higher octave version of yourself, a more embodied dimension of yourself, the version of yourself that is able to and is capable of facilitating these planetary leadership, planetary shift changes and creations that you desire so much in your heart. And I know you can feel this sense of vigor and strength and courage and power in my body as my son is transmitting these frequencies from my body. And this is really the energy that we're going to be in for 12 weeks together. Not only am I going to be sharing with you the theory, this course is really the most full spectrum goddess wealth creation course available on earth. We are going to start with the somatics because even though our mind wants to create these amazing things and wealth for our family and freedom and all of those things, if our body is still holding fear and unworthiness, it's going to be very hard for us to step into the embodiment of those things. So the first thing we're going to do is clear those things from our body. You're going to learn somatic practices that you can do every day that are so fun that rises up that energy of pleasure and excitement in your body and for you to begin to reprogram those viruses and programs of poverty and lack they're really curses and spells that have been placed upon our ancestors to make humans weak and incapable of breaking through the soul prison but it is also so easy when your soul is in your body to begin to release these shackles and chains and so we are going to be working on the somatic level and then we're going to work on the multidimensional and subconscious level. This is when we're going to be clearing the implants and the past life vows and the curses and spells that are overlaid in the earth's and our own human light body. So these are the overlays in our heart and our womb and our mind that blocks us from even accessing these vibrations of creativity and make us feel unworthy and helpless and powerless. Then we're going to address these things on a highest theory level of understanding the divine co-creation of divine masculine and feminine energies inside of our own body. We're going to initiate our inner king and our inner queen and discuss what true queen consciousness really, really is. I mean, there's so much talk about queens and goddesses in our community, but the truth is in order to become a goddess, a true embodied goddess and a queen, it requires for us to step into such a high level of mastery and self-responsibility. And I remember when I was just a little girl, this voice in my ear felt like this ancestor, like an auntie. She would whisper in my ear often that a real princess was here to care for the people. And as a little child, it didn't seem like a weird experience. But growing up, I realized that this is actually very odd. And I later began to unpack that I was being programmed or groomed or supported with this deep understanding from childhood that I am carrying a lot of creational power and this is a great responsibility. And while we're talking about goddesses and queens, so much of this talk has to do with this me, me, me program. I can have this, I can have that, I can have wealth, I can have this dream house, I can have this dream lover, when that's not what it's about at all. Being a queen means that you are in the sovereign leadership and the sovereign containment and the sovereign caring position of a whole nation. And this is really what the universe is calling us to step into because the world is needing divine mothers embodied. The world is needing these leaders to help humanity move into this new higher reality and upshift collective consciousness. And that's only going to happen if we start to live in alignment with our true mastery and our hearts, true devotion to our highest embodiment and living outside of our own selfish desires and living in devotion to being of service. And to me, that's really what the true queen and goddess consciousness is all about. It's stepping into this place of expanding 
our own limitations and our own sense of capacity so that we can be of greater and greater and greater and greater service to creation with ease and pleasure at the foundation of our being. And so I'm so excited to invite you into this journey with me. I am holding this frequency and this prayer because I know that money does not change the world, but money in the hands of devoted and masterful and caring and loving women who have beautiful dreams for a better world for all of humanity. You are the ones who will change the world with money. And so in my course, we're also going to be working with this goddess energy of money. This began, I think, in the year of 2015, when this green goddess was knocking on my window. And I opened the window and she was like, hey, these evil people are trafficking me and forcing me to do all this evil stuff on the earth. And, you know, I'm trying to get into the hands of light workers, but they're all rejecting me. They think I'm the one that's doing all the horrible things on the earth. And all I want is to be in the hands of the true masters, the avatars, the embodied gods and goddesses on this earth so that I can support in this process of healing the earth. And ever since then, I became devoted to healing my money wound because I realized it was my programming and my belief systems that blocked me from holding and wielding this dragon of money. And so I am so excited for us to go through this journey together because I know that the impact of this medicine container is going to bring all the previous medicine containers into a state of embodiment and launch you into a life of service. Oh, one more thing is that towards the end of the course, we're even going to put it into practice. The final three weeks of our medicine container is all about drafting your offer, how to create and an irresistible offer that's based on your heart's gifts and these foundations of devotion and reverence for all of creation. This is how we resurrect and restore the templates of entrepreneurship on earth. I really believe that at the foundation without the distortions and the viruses of greed and all of those things, entrepreneurship is supposed to be the way that creator beings change the world on a fundamental 3D level. And so goddesses in business goddesses and entrepreneurship, we're creating these new systems for how things should work. You get to decide how you operate in integrity in your business. You get to decide how you source your materials and how you pay your workers and how you create jobs and how you hold yourself as a master being in business. And this is all really exciting. And then we're going to actually go into the nitty gritty and talk about sales and marketing and profit all those things that you know we don't want to talk about we want to skirt around but truly it's time for us to restore and restructure these architectures so that we can reclaim you know all things back into creation so i'm going to teach you how to run your sales and marketing in a way that's aligned with your soul that makes you feel good about yourself that's not icky that's not pushy that makes you feel like you're just out there sharing your light and your medicine and there are people waiting to hear from you there are souls that are contracted to receive that message from you and no one else and to learn how to share your message in the form of 3d lingo is so important and finally in the final class we're actually going to be exploring the dragon of technology and I know it's kind of weird, but I think that I actually have a telepathic relationship with my technology because if you believe that there is consciousness in all things, you can't pick and choose what those all things are. And so I believe that at this time on earth, all of matter is trying to serve God, is trying to serve creation, including our computers and our phones that you're watching this video on right this second. And so to learn how to use technology and social media and cameras and filming and all of these things to help your soul serve humanity, this is all very important and oftentimes what trips people up. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of practical tools, calendars, marketing plans and things like that. And so my prayer is that this is why it's going to be a 12 week container is that not only are we going to go through the healing, not only are we going to learn the theory, not only are we going to restore and resurrect our inner sense 
of being a true queen and a true goddess, we're also going to step it into embodiment and into practicality. And I'm hoping that if you wish, by the end of this course, you will have a product and a plan to launch your business in the year of 2024 and watch that business grow and expand towards the end of this year. So that by the end of this Dragon Emerald year, you have reaped this energy and took full advantage of what is possible for you in this cosmic energy of the Emerald Dragon. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you on February 10th on the first day of our class together. And I am so excited to watch us bloom into the avatar goddesses that we're here to be.